question because I should speak according to the manual and I will talk directly to camera. Okay. So dear listeners, Formula One is the highest class of single seat auto racing. The car from Formula One can speed up to 370 kilometers per hour and it, it can stop from 200 kilometers to zero in almost two seconds. This year season starts in this week in Australia, Melbourne. It is the first race out of 19 races this season. There are 22 drivers, but there is no Robert Kubica there. Robert is total driver. We remember him from the races he participated. He drives centimeters precision. We could see it in Montreal, uh, sorry, in uh, Monaco, uh, Monte Carlo race. The year 2011 was critical. He was prepared for the season very well. The car was very good in the Renault team and he got the best timing proceeding the season. But after a few days there was an accident in Relay in Italy, Ronde di Andorra and he was seriously injured and he lost the whole year. He suffered partial amputation of the forehand and compound fraction of leg, arm and elbow. Also lost a lot of blood as he was trapped during one hour in the car before he was rescued. So, will Robert be back in Formula 1? 4 is his approach and commitment, but against the time. I believe Robert will be back in Formula 1. He survived from the accident and this is miracle and now he started in the September last year he started racing rallies and he was one minute ahead of the others this year he signed contract with Citroen and he will win I hope <laughs> and this year will be crucial if he succeeds he will this year, he will next year, I'm sure, run in Formula 1. If he fails, I don't believe it. He will never go to Formula 1. Thank you.